Game Outs here, GenerationD20.com. The second draft uh, started up awfully quickly. And so, I'm not really sure whether Gilded Lotus is worth any money or not. I don't know if there's anything I would want to ramp to that bad. I do know Bone Splitter is pretty nasty. Um, I like going white weenie with artifacts, and so Bone Splitter would be good. I'll take it. Uh, grid Monitor would be risky. But also can be pretty powerful. And I like the scavenger. In my experience, it was a pretty handy and helpful item. Uh, I don't like the chosen as much, just because it ends up, you can't equip it. I'll take the grid monitor, I'll take a chance on it. Woe bearer is not as powerful as it could be because you know all the artifacts with fear. Fire Shrieker is kinda tempting. Um, this is Frog Knight, but Double Strike is Always just a lot of fun if you can kind of build around it or build toward it. It can be especially fun. Here, still haven't actually picked a color, but the regenerating exiles are pretty good. I don't mind being in green by any means. And if you throw a bone splitter on that or fire shrieker on that, it can be pretty hard to stop, especially if it can regenerate. I haven't really played with the grid monitor. Um, I would think if you don't have some sort of sack outlet, it could be very dangerous. So we'll see. Oh, and uh, I suppose I should acknowledge that this is the top eight of um, American Draft Queue, the first top eight I've ever stayed awake for. So, you know, obviously. A lot of pride going into that. Um, although it's a little weird because it looks like everyone joined and everyone's drafting. So I don't know if they screwed up or what's going on, but it should be the top eight of the weird and draft. Here, nothing that good. I could take the spell bomb on spec. Could take the talisman. Nice thing about the talisman is when you get to uh, sunburst, that can be helpful. Yeah, I could see that. And still nothing that great to speak of. I guess maybe Ocean Soldier. Just because I'm so low on creatures and it doesn't push me into another color. And here. Um, I 
I suppose needle bug. Even though I can't equip it, it does give you the flash is nice and protection can be beneficial. And out of these creatures, I'm almost tempted to go with the golem. I guess we could go with the core clam. I'll go with the golem. We'll see what happens. Let's just move her. And that's the mirror prototype. Okay, that's not that great. So of these, Lasher is probably most promising just because I have so many stinking artifacts. Well, let's take a second Lasher and see where it takes us. And this rule of law. I must have overvalued that Teljad table as well. We can see. Let's only pack one. Nothing terribly strong, but nothing. I mean, definitely playables here. Question is whether I can get something useful out of those lashers. Or something to combo with the lashers, I guess. We'll see about this guy too. He's kind of looking like a no go. I guess the promising thing is you have portable double strike. That could make a lasher pretty good. Pretty hard to deal with. And those I feel safe hiding. So the heck is a dark steel reactor? Okay, so I'd have to get 20 counters on it. And dark steel brute. There's something to be said for it. The cloak, of course. Cloak's kind of fun, especially with like the lashers. That could be a, an interesting angle to go for. I wouldn't be against it. If I end up going that way, I think probably bats would give me an early, some early damage, which is probably what I'm going to need. Okay. So then here, a lot of good things. Decay. Ebola. Maybe the K. That's what I want to go with. Especially if it got used against me. That's submitting me out of that. But I do like the idea of a cloak on a lasher. Yeah. 
uh, that could be nasty. And the question becomes also, uh, what else can I do to win? And I guess cloak on anyone could win if you have enough time. Yeah, I know. Activate Windows. I'll think about it. I suppose the screams is probably the way to go, even though there's another cloak. Just to give me some more removal. Good way to kill the the weenies among us, or to whittle down the giants, if need be. And here... Um, this is hard to say. So overpriced. That would give me. Whoever gets a block, he gets the bonus. Yeah, I can do that. That wouldn't be bad. It's a nice bounce and. Then if you get him with like fire shrieker or something, you might not be able to block him otherwise either. And probably a worker makes almost as much sense as anything. Gives me another artifact. And so Tangle Golem versus Arcbound Hybrid. I like the haste of the hybrid. So I think I'll go in that direction. Arcbound, you know, doesn't suck either, even if you're tossing things on a Yoshin soldier or something. I'm gonna remember it's Shroud, not Hexproof. It makes a pretty big difference. Not that I have a lot of instants, but just to order of equipping. We're at 11 creatures. A couple of them are so so. There's another cloak. Something could also be said for like Bruiser or the Wolf. I guess the good thing about the cloak is it's not going to be available in the next pack. So if I want it, I gotta take it now. I'll take the reactor. If something crazy happens, so who knows, I might end up liking it. I probably won't play the spin crusher, but I've seen worse. I'll take the hunger. 
couple of even hungers. Genesis Chamber could be real good with my hungers and nymphs and cranial plating. That would be like the natural next step for this deck. I'll probably take it and take a chance on it. Let's see. Crackling Amp gives me a way to wear him down. Ferocious Charge is a nice trick. Stasis Cocoon. Be nice to have also, but an 8 8 for 4. Ultimately, if I don't have something to sacrifice, I can just sacrifice it. It's probably worth taking a chance on. If I have a couple near tokens or something. Let's see. Yeah, Devouring Shadow is probably the right answer. Pull Monox or whatever you want to, whatever it's called, is pretty darn good. But Devour is just exceptionally solid removal. We'll see if I can get something better. I'm not married to the idea of playing that. The Hunger of the Nim, because it has Shroud, loses a lot. Okay, so here. Used arrow, something to be said for that. Skyreach, Manta, give me something. Hmm. So that's always kind of amusing. So Skyreach, if I put in, I'll take Skyreach Manta. Probably gives me the best options. Go here. Sun Crusher's going to be too expensive. It'll just never happen. Rider Golem is not bad. Explorer. Is not bad. I'll go with the golem. And here, we have to have four colors for it to do anything. I think Lost Hope would be better. And another Lost Hope. Probably so. Well, the bracers can be decent. OK. 
Can I do that? I'll take Dodge Reflection just to think about it. I don't have that many sunbursting things, but... Yeah, probably from what I see right now. I'd want to hide those. 13 creatures, which is a little low. Fortunately, those help me scry to dig through the pile. Um, Yes, Flesh Grafter. I don't know if I like him any more than... Well, maybe more than the element. Maybe more than my first pick. Um, So I can take the lurker, explorer would give me hopefully a little acceleration. Biggest thing here is the equip cost. We'll take up some of the mana. Um, I don't think any of those really work. Great monitor. Yeah, if I immediately cloaked him, he wouldn't be that bad. Put him on a pretty short clock. I mean, I'm topping out at four. That'll give me 14 creatures, which is pretty solid. Yeah, I bet I could muster 16 land with a deck like that. It's the Lost Hopes, the Echoing Decay, the Bats, Fire and Shadow, the Flesh Crafter, both Nims, Screams from Within, Explorer, the Wolf, the Exiles, the Worker, the Splitter, the Genesis Chamber, Powder Gold, Fire Shrieker, Cloak, Cloak, some soldier hybrid grid monitor needlebug I think that was it and let's get ten six can live with that all right well I don't know what happened or whether all of the players in the 64 player draft got a second draft, but whatever the case, I will see you in round four.